In this lesson, we're going to look at the circle. And we're going to look at a special relationship that exists between the circumference of a circle and also the diameter of a circle. Now, if you look at the yellow circle in front, it's important, first of all, to be able to identify certain um, parts of the circle. Now, the first part uh, to identify is this blue line. Now, this blue line is a line that goes from the centre point to the outside of the circle, and this is called a radius. The second line in the diagram, the green line, is a line that touches both sides of the circle but goes through the centre point. And this line uh, is called the diameter of a circle. Now, one thing to notice about the diameter of the circle is that if you take a radius, uh, which is this, and we just the radius can be taken all the way around the circle like this. So there's a radius here, there's a radius there, there's a radius here. So this is also the radius. Now if you look at that radius there and you double it up, then what you get is the diameter. So the radius is exactly half the diameter, or the diameter is double the radius. Okay, this last um, bit here uh, really goes all the way around the circle. So it's this bit all the way around here. I'm drawing this badly, but all the way around here. Now, in most shapes, in fact every shape, this is called the perimeter, the distance around the outside of the shape, uh, but in a circle it's called the circumference. So it's just a fancy word for the perimeter of the circle. Now, if we look at this idea here, um, we drag this circle all the way once round, then what we have is the circumference on the on the bottom. It's a, the same idea as imagining you've got uh, ink on the bottom here, or paint, and you drag it round one time, then what's left will be the paint that was once round the circle, which is the circumference. Now if I take the diameters, there's one, two, three. For every circle, roughly the three times the diameter will make up the, the perimeter or the circumference. It's a wee bit more than three, uh, and it is exactly 3.14. Now this works for any circles, big circles, small circles, really small, really large circles. If you take the circumference and divide it by the diameter, you always get roughly three, or more accurately, this number here, which we call pi in mathematics. Uh, there's a Greek symbol for pi, which is um, this down the bottom, and to spell it in English it's P-I, not P-I-E, like the pie you eat. Now this number goes on forever, it is not um, usually written like that, uh, we usually round it to 3.14. Okay, so when we're using pi, it's normally rounded to 3.14. You can um, hit the pi button in your calculator and it will give you the full um, digits and it's a bit more accurate when you do that, but you don't need to. Okay, so what this means is we've roughly got a formula to, for the circumference. The circumference is approximately three times the diameter, but more accurately, circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. 3.14 diameters makes your circumference. So if you look at an example of how to actually use this in maths, uh, if we have a circle and we know what the diameter is, we can then work out the circumference using this formula. So circumference is equal to 3.14 in this case, uh, multiplied by 12. So write the formula out first, sub uh, in the numbers, and then use your calculator to give you an answer. Now, incidentally, if you use the pi button, you'll get a slightly different answer here, but both are accepted in the exams. In this last example here, we have a radius of 7 uh, centimetres. We can't use the radius in the formula, it's the diameter that we're asked for. What we need to uh, make sure is we double the radius here to give the diameter. So write down that the diameter is 14, you can write 7 times 2 if you like, and then we're going to use the 14 in our calculation. So again, circumference is equal to 3.14 times the diameter of 14. Uh, Take that into your calculator and get 43.96 centimetres.